G'day ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's a Brash Bandicoot here playing some more UFC 4 on the PlayStation 5, fighting in the heavyweight division. So, playing some more Punchy Punch. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone watching, I hope everyone enjoys the video. Also, don't forget about the giveaway that's happening at 500 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is to subscribe and comment on a video, whether the comment's a joke, or just saying hello, or asking a question, feel free. Just any comment will do, and you'll be entered in the draw. Uh, the prize is going to be a 100 Australian dollar gift card for the console of the winner's choice. And the winner will be picked at random from the subscribers list and announced once I hit the target of 500 subscribers. There will be a slight twist though. The twist is, there's going to be two winners. So again, good luck to everyone who is new and subscribes. Anyone who subscribed already is already entered in the draw. And I hope everyone enjoys the video. I'm going to shut up now and let you enjoy the fights. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Riding out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, Curtis Racer. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 42 wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Juggernaut. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, here is round one of this UFC heavyweight championship fight. The baddest man on the planet. There he is in the flesh. He has defended this title in the past, 
And despite the fact that this has been a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, not since this man has held it down. We'll see if he can keep his championship legacy going here tonight. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on the point. All right, so there's the only takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. We're getting a finish here. Oh, we might have got it with a choke. Wow. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big punch lands over the top. I'm just gonna follow this one. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparel. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Big roundhouse now just misses. Single power tied out. Oh, but that's a good right hand. Striking. Oh, Zach! He's got him right here. Oh, big left. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big call punch lands. So now he gets back to range. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And that one certainly found the target. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Missed with that right hand. Tags him with the left. Blades his lower jaw does not take him down. Cut him. Take him down. Cut him. Over and over. He's securing these takedowns. Oh, and there's the one at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell, so back to the stool. Mentally, probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this one. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, He's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Right hand. And authority goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. Let's get going. Side control now. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh! Oh! He steps over into an inverted triangle. 
Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jagger Knight. Right, so we hear and still tonight, UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.
<laughs> okay, kid. One last time into the breach. It's been a long road. The miles are showing. <laughs> On both of us. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Happens to the very best of them. It's been a privilege working with you all this time. I mean that. And it will also be a privilege coaching you to one last victory inside the octagon. Come on. There we go. All right. Get your head on straight. Soak it in. You ready? I'm ready. Let's give him one more show. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion. And despite being at the top of the division right now, this will be his last career UFC fight. I know some fans have said he's walking away too soon. He is doing so with peace of mind. Of course, all of that said, he would like nothing more than to go out on top, to retire with the belt around his waist as the UFC champion. We'll see if he can do it. tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 25 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the challenger, Butcher. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 43 wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Juggernaut. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner.
Well, I'm gonna miss watching this guy compete. His career has been defined by longevity, and after a long, successful UFC career, most people believe it is time for this fighter to hang it up. He has hit the twilight of his career. He is still competing. Round one underway here. We'll see if he can get off to a good start, and ideally for him get a win in what in all likelihood will be his final UFC appearance. Circling to his right. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression. Right. Of the well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard. And, oh, and the, all right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off after several failed attempts. Nice guillotine to tip here. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, has the guard closed here. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight right here. And he had no good shot. Perfect body shot there. He's hit. Unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got to get over her. He got him. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it. So the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, John. He's doing a great job of keeping his feet going backwards, sprawling, dropping his hips anticipate the shots coming. Very well done. Oh, collar tie. What a beautiful take down. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Take a deep breath. Relax. You're okay. You got robbed that last round, but you're fine. You're still here right now. This next round, we're going to... All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Swap that kick to the body. Huge shot there! And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Back to the feet now. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at judo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a set. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ron and Ron here or if you're gonna go to submission. Back to his feet. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right off. Oh. He's hurt bad. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. And back to his feet. Take it down. Cut. 
Take it down. Cut. Oh! Oh! Fades oh. upstairs and lands across to the land perfect. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Every single time, the whole entire fight, he's done that. He set the trap, he's cut off the octagon, and then, oh. The double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Single collar tie now. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Oh! Oh! oh what a shot to the body. He's trying to keep the poke face. But he's hurt very, very bad. Back to the feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll. Oh, what a shot to the body. He told us it was going to be two. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And he's out. Two rounds in the books. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive rest. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. Yes. Oh, 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 right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch is in the perfect spot. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, and now he's stuck ahead back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully by TKO. Up. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 54 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.
As always, I would love to say a massive thank you to everyone who's still watching. I hope everyone enjoyed the career of Mad Hatter. Uh, don't forget about the giveaway that's happening at 500 subscribers. All you got to do to enter is to subscribe and comment on the video. Anything, any comment, whether it's a joke or just saying g'day or asking a question, whatever you feel. Um, let's get down to the brass tacks of things, shall we? Uh, if you enjoyed the content, why not like, subscribe, turn the notifications on so you know when I upload or when I go live. If you really enjoyed the content, why not share uh, the video on social media to help the channel grow? I'd really, really appreciate that. As always, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's watching. Uh, you guys have been fantastic. I've been the Brash Bandicoot. Uru.